Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Chris Walshaw, and welcome to this course on uh, visualization. So, in today's lecture, I'm going to do a, an introduction. Uh, we're going to look at a quick um, set of examples from visualization. So, what is visualization? Why do we visualize? Um, what does it involve? And some examples. And then we'll do a, a preliminary data exploration of uh, company sales data. It's a fictional company, but uh, it's sort of kind of set up to be fairly realistic, and we look at how we how we manipulate the data to get um, to get decent visualizations out of it. Okay, uh, and they may look like this or like this. You can see that the first one has a lot of noise, and the second one's a bit cleaner. So we'll we'll see as we go through the course how we can improve on our uh, visualizations. So the first question is: What is information visualization or data visualization? Uh, if you ask Wikipedia, it says it's the study of visual representations of abstract data to reinforce human cognition. Or data visualization is the visual representation and presentation of data to facilitate understanding. That's from a book by a, a guy called Andy Kirk. Good book. I uh, recommend it. Um, and you'll see it already. We've got two terms, data visualization and information visualization. They're, they tend to be used interchangeably. Okay, so uh, I may use either. Um, I apologize for that, but I, I don't tend to distinguish in between them. But strictly speaking, information visualization also co covers things uh, like mind maps, so knowledge visualization. So data is a bit, bit more focused on the actual, the numbers that we're trying to visualize. Uh, and we're going to focus on that ourselves, actually. We're focused on, on the data visualization on the side of, of taking a set of numbers and, and trying to make sense of them. Uh, you may also have come across the term called infographics. Um, infographics are a kind of information visualization, um, but typically they're constructed manually and they contain text as well as visuals. So each one has to be handcrafted, if you like, for the particular infographic that's been created. So if you want to, um, you know, create something on a, a news website or maybe on a uh, in a video or something like that. Uh, you might construct a, a specific one with some specific annotations on it or, or something like that. So it, it tends to be much more uh, handcrafted um, and therefore can't easily be transferred. If, if I give you another set of data, the next week's data, uh, you'd have to do it all again. Uh, you may also wonder why I'm using S rather than Z. Uh, they're interchangeable again. Um, if you're American, then you will use the Z. That's the only correct spelling. If you're uh, British, um, then either is, is uh, or if you're using British English, then either is acceptable. Um, it's a misconception, I understand, that, that visualization with a Z is an Americanism and therefore incorrect, but um, I don't mind which one you want to use, uh, just pick one and stick to it. I, I have to like the S, but it, it doesn't really matter. Okay, what does it involve? Well, uh, typically it involves some sort of exploration and or explanation stroke presentation of the data. So you sometimes come across these terms, exploration versus explanation. Uh, data exploration uses visual tools to try and understand what's in a data set and characteristics of that data. Whereas explanation uses possibly the same tools to present or explain the, the results of data analysis. And usually that will follow on after exploration. So typically, if you've got some data, you don't know anything about it, you might first do an exploration to try and make sense of it, to try and understand it. Uh, and then you might want to present that to somebody. So you would uh, work on explanation. So you you'd select maybe a set of charts from your exploration, and that would represent your explanation of the data. Okay, we're going to focus on exploration. We're going to assume we don't know anything about the data. It's just a bunch of numbers, and uh, we'll try and figure out what those numbers mean. Um, exploration, it's a bit more involved, so it's, uh, it usually involves some data cleaning. So normally the data that you get from websites or uh, uh, coming out of uh, apps or something like that isn't, isn't always ideal. It's not perfectly clean. There might be numbers missing. There might be some that are just set to zero because nothing was recorded at that point. So usually there's some data cleaning. Then there's some data wrangling to get it into the state that you want it. So sometimes you need to transpose it or you need to normalize it. 
I'll talk about some of that. And then once you've done those first two steps, often the third step, the visualization, the actual drawing some charts of the data is trivial if you can get the first two right. However, in this course, we're not going to deal with data cleaning. Uh, it's, a, it's a really important task, but we don't really have time to cover it. So we'll just stick, uh, we'll just stick to uh, the ideas of data wrangling and data visualization. We'll, we'll assume that the data that we've got is already clean i.e. all the errors and um, missing values have been uh, updated uh, or re removed. Okay, I'm going to stop this video here and then we'll look, on, we'll look at some examples of, of data visualizations.